Oh, it's Gimel. Where it's explain? Oh, Morning Yossi. Where it's explaining why Golos is compared to the state of the fetus in the mother's womb. He'll get back to all that later. To understand that, he introduces now in Oiz Gimel and also all the details that the Gemara, the way the Gemara describes the fetus in the mother's womb, including why we cry when we're born, but that should be Simcha. He already addressed that. He said, Bemis, it is Simcha, but it's also the cry of what, what's been endured till now. That's the cry, the Givald. All to be seen in greater detail later, and in detail, and in greater detail later. So to understand this union of Golos and therefore Gola, which is compared by the Novi Echeskel as birth, latest Am Yisrael, it's yes, it's time, is the birth of the Jewish people. And then the final gula is the ultimate birth. So to understand all of that, we have to he prefaced the difference between Echod and Yochid. And Echod means it's a sink, sink, sequential number, one, but it implies two. Yochid implies standalone and singular. So therefore, the Atmos Hamaitzel, David did himself, the emanator, the essence of the divine emanator is Yochid. Because at that level, there's no air, no revelation, which of course is something else, secondary revelation too. And then comes Gilu revelation to the six middas, etc. The seven middas. And that's all division and numbers. Another thing, another mid, another mid. Not only are there numbers, different middas, but they contrast, they're opposites, which implies a huge division. So that's the end of Echot. So up to the top of the page. Do you have the same page number 341 as me? It's the top of the page anyway. It should be the same layout. Yeah. Is it the same page number? It is. So 341 at the top. What's the end of What did of Echot did a person supposed to be misbeinen? When we say Shema Yisrael Avaya Lekein Avaya Chod, so what's a Chod? Now that we've, we've explained it, you understand what what the his bondness is. That the Gemara says Am Lichtei that a person is to coronate Hashem Lemaylo Lemata above and below Ular Baruches and to the four directions. The Ches is the seven heavens. That's the above, and below is eight. And the dollar is the four directions, and Aleph is the Abishta that we are crowning. So what we're talking about is revealing Hashem in division and creation. For Inyan Yehudila, and that's the whole Avaida, that's that's Shema Yisrael, Yehudila, Bar Hashem is Yehudatast, Yehudatato, but Shema Yisrael, Yehudila, to draw a likus the truth of Alekos, within creation. That creation should know that it is nothing other, nothing other than Hashem's desire that it be. It has no intrinsic reality at all. So the idea is to draw Alekos, we described earlier in the Midas, as they are not just numbered and this division. But they are contrasting. We have to draw unity between the opposites. And the Hidua Moshul, as known, the Moshul, based on medium, to disciples, that they're arguing in the idea that they heard from the Master. And they have very different takes on it. So then they come to the the the, the master, the uh, the Rav to ask. 
and he speaks. Then whatever position they had earlier, their bottle, and then they're listening with absolute both of them wonders and and unity. It's an interesting motion. When they hear the Svara and you, the year be name Achlekes Klau. So then there's no Machlekes. When they first heard it at the outset, there's also no Machlekes. They were listening. It's only with that Schachma, then a good. But then when they internalized it, and that's when the argument and the dispute began. So now they're already different. And what are they arguing about that which they heard from the Rav? Filtered through their particular Seichel, their bent. Their orientation, Shama Hillel, Chesed Gvure. So they go back to the Rav. When the Rav speaks, they bottle again. That's the moment of Yichud Yilo. Yichud Yilo is when the Midas, the disciples, go back, as it were, to the Rav to hear the Rav as they are disciples. And then there's unity. Acha. But then they leave. Okay, they've heard. And again, there each one understands each one in his way. Then there's division again. It's a very deep moshul and many dimensions to it. But we get the general idea of what Yechudi law is. Yeah, continuing. The Pesach says, that day, he Hashem HaChodesh Me'achod, they wish to be one, his name will be one. We do it, Kush Yisagimoda. I mean, no, the famous question, and now he's not one, only then? The answer is, he is in essence, but then revealed. The Gemara's answer there is, saying pretty much the same thing, that now we only praise God for the good. And when something bad happens, we say, a different bracha. But then there'll be one bracha for everything. Same the could have revealed or concealed. Vinyan who Shibizman Agolas Shinim Sali Ibur, getting back to the Nyan of Ibur. In Zman Agolas, which is likened to, to Ibur, bottom line of Ibur is the child is present. Everything is there, but not manifesting. Everything is folded into itself, as he explains. We're going to go into detail again, revisiting the Gemara's description. So in the time of Golos, Hamshach, Mepchinas Yochid, Mepchinas Echad, he behel, drawing a likus into creation, each mitzvah does, but we don't see the effect. We do not see our wonders. The simple meaning is the wonders performed for us, but it's also alluding to the things that we achieve, we don't see, the mitzvahs that we do. Ois means also a letter, it means to reveal, also baker, morning has come. So we don't see the revelations, that which we affect through mitzvahs. And the world appears to be independent from Hashem. Only the level of Yochid is exists, but beyond us, the level of Yochid is not something revealed, but means it, it departs literally, and that truth is only known, revealed, expressed in Atmos, within God Himself. That's now. When I come to the Gula, which is coming, which is likened to a birth. Because we are drawing the Yochid where in the Echad. In creation. That's the general idea. He's not expanding a Shmoy Echad, but that's the Hemshech of the Indian Shmoy, as we completely concealed. Malchus, it'll be one. Now, revisiting the union of the Ibur. Now we can explain the Moshul of the Gimbari Nida. 
as it applies, the Gemara is not speaking about Gula. The Gemara is just talking about the Hilchas Nidda. But now I understand that it applies to Golos and Gula. The Hindei, Moshe have Vlad. What? How is the Vlad? How is the feet is described? Shereisha be Birkov. His head's between his knees. What's this in Yanehu? What's this in in, in Golos? Shekolos Avedi Bnei. So what's the Ikar Avayda of Eden in, in the time of Golos? Our head is not held high, as it were, meaning to say, where's the head? The head's between the knees. What's the knee? The knees are the mice of a pearl. The lower kechas and nefesh. They are the ones that operate. That's what the emphasis is. are the operative Faculties of, of the nefesh to get the job done, netzach overcoming obstacles, uh, hoid being devoted to the to the mission, and yesoid bonding with it. So that's just a general definition of nehi. It's all about exercising and actualizing the objective, not understanding and inspired by it. Seichel midas. That's the ikaravoid. In other words, ikaravoid in golus is kabbalah seil ma'isa bepoel. Head between the knees. Shainian Asiya May Samitis Bhavad, the Ikara Vaid is action alone. The Layavana Vasagya without understanding Shabimaik, which is Chabad, or Midis, or the feeling Shibalev of the heart, Chagas, Chasid Mutiferis. Shazaunya no Shabim Birka, that's the meaning that he says between his knees. Shain Baby Gili, what do you see? The head's concealed there. What do you see? El Raka Birkai, you see the knees, Hanikra Tlas, Great Tlas. Mind we learned this is what the Xair is talking about when it says the three is in the three, is in the three. The Chabad, which is in th the first three faculties, where they invested hidden in Chabad, in, in Chagas. And where's the Chagas hidden in that's a that which is the, which is the end, all you really see. The higher faculties of the soul of the nefesh are concealed. Class goy, class three within three, etc. Yeah, remember the mind we learned. Actually, send us to that mind in the order. Love and yin that last great class is of Shechav Gimel. And also from this year. Ah. Uh -huh. And also from this year, different muscle love in the eagle and the oyster of Shonazu of this year. Yeah, we didn't learn that though. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. That's that's the hint. We'll see how we go. Okay, the next mime in the in the Hamshik is uh let me spot them, I think. And let's see. Okay. Vita Savahina Shina Sagava Vida. So it's man it's a person's understanding, his love of God, his awe of God. It's all very immature. It's all very small. It's all very shallow. Whatever we do have, well, there is, of course, we thinking and feeling people, but it's all really action orientated. It isn't the world of Seyyid Mamish and the world of the deep world of emotion. It's all as as it fuels simply behavior. Even which you do have, which is shaykh, is to maisa, it's in a great concealment. What do you see? What is operating? On what level is a person functioning as Iraq, but primarily the level of action and seichel and midas are all there in a very uh, subtle uh, way, in a very concealed way. Iker is a ma'isa b'poyel. Just the Haga, that's why Erev Geula, Erev Geula, where it's going to be the birth and the child emerges and Seichel and so on. That's why Chassidus is revealed already Erev Geula, which begins the process of engaging the mind and the heart, etc. Continuing now, more detail. Even by Imek Yosef, understand Matzav Agolos, and therefore the Avodim Golos deeper. Me Achiluk Shebein Ibu Leleid Benegiad Nino Achila. Let's look at the difference between birth and gestation and pregnancy with, with regards to nourishment, to food. 
Let's see. In the Avlad be me ima eich l'mash ima echelas. The Gemara says that the child in the mother's womb eats is nourished by what the mother eats. How does he get it? It's through the uh, through the through the navel, not through his mouth. Like after birth, what does this mean? But is the What's the main difference between getting food through the mouth or directly into the into the stomach? Through the navel, to the biblical code, it's a pasuk in Eov, and it says that the palate, food tastes. There's no taste, just direct nourishment. IV. What's in the of taste? Taste is pleasure and delight. So much so. That the the delight of the palate, you know, it's gashmi yeshiba gashmi is but kosher my tainik yeshiba chokma. It's connected to the primary tainik, which is the tainik of chokma, of seeing the truth of chokma. Kiduas is known. Where is it known? Mamazem. Next page, friends. No footnote. Okay. No. It doesn't tell us where that the descent of Chachbim in Bino, which is in the brain, like in the last and Besaifan, where does it manifest that Taino property? It's in the palate and the throat, which is the intermediary between the neck, the throat. Is intermediary between the heart and the brain. Okay, that's with the Indian, the the Chachma Bina, then descends between Seichel and the heart and manifests in the throat, the palate, in the tiny of food. Okay, if you have a, a mark, you can look it up and uh, for some has, but I don't see anything yet. Maybe later. Kamaikin Tsaikli is bearded. When I get back in the show, Kamaikin Tsaikli is bearded. I'm my Hladay Shinai, I Shinoyim, Shinayim. Now, another thing that, that's required and happens at birth is that the food has been broken up to the teeth. Shetaikhne says, I'm my Hladay, the teeth that grind the food, leaves Miss Akal Bameo that it should be. It should be able to be uh, uh, break down to, uh, in the stomach. Not break, what's the word for it? Digested. As it's explaining, you see this in the, the bracha of, of Yaakov, that they, they will have, you will have an abundance of wine and milk, <coughs> the love and shinaim and white teeth. Michala from from milk and red eyes from a lot of wine. So, so that as explained Exodus on this pasuk, that that's the union of what of the of the function of the teeth is to break the food down. But Pratius says, and moreover, the food is broken down. Nasas the lamed base ashenayim. There's thirty two teeth. Shinyan Lama based on Sivis Chachma corresponding to the 30, 32 pathways of Chachm, which basically is the 22 letters of the of the olive base and the 10 Svidis, the 10 Kirchas and Nefesh. The Bachachm is Bediru, Loshan Azoya, that discernment, which is is Bediru, means discernment, comes from Chachma. So it's chachma that breaks things down. Quite simply, it's intelligence that breaks things down and and creates uh, puts things in their appropriate place and so on. Like a person, an, an idea that he's understanding. He learns it over again and again. This is the the, the teeth, the, the thirty two teeth. He's breaking it down. And he divides the idea into its various components, many components. Lee is called Pratamutfa, specifically grasping each detail in his mind. 
She is a gizbar that clarifies. It's like for him, I say, whole idea. It's not nebula. It's broken down. Every detail of it, it all fits. It all comes together. Lambit alabitosa, you to understand the idea truly. And to remove any any dross, any any uh, waste, any uh, corruption of the idea. That's interesting. Girsa means to to learn quickly. It also means to to, to grind. Hmm. That's required before then going into depth and taking the idea to you know app, applying it, etc. And the first got to be broken down. Can I pull him like uh, uh, pull him? You no, know, it's uh, grows beans. or beans. Means grusish the halakim rabim that are ground into many parts, but when it's ground, commercial cost like the pasuk says, until him for few tests, goddess and nafshi, my soul has been crushed, says David the Melech, and he finds delight in Torah. So that's the idea of what that's the that's the girse, that's goddess and nafshi. It's the idea. Paul Kofir test talks about limited Torah, the mile of Torah. So it's that's the goddess of Navshi, the, the, the breaking down of the Seich. And only then, so that's that's the teeth, that's the brain. So that's the the the, the gishmak that he has when he does that. That's the uh, the palate, and then that's the link. Going back to the top line of the page between the the seichel and the heart. And the heart gets moved when the mind is fully engaged and breaks the idea down. And there's the tainug in it. Then the heart is moved. Okay. So that's the way it is after birth, functioning human being. And then, so what enters into the stomach? Only the Gashmius, but the Tainuk, etc., was experienced in the, as he chewed it, in the Seichel component. But in the fetus, there's no Tainuk. It's just the, just the food goes directly into the into the into the into the body. Avakasha kabolas ashpas amaz nidera chatabur. But when the food goes through the navel, how is it? But even shamaichel k'meishu hu and nichnas of nebaim miad. The food as it is has not been broken down and is not being grasped, and internalized. There's no tainug. Goes directly into the intestines. Meblishi yivur tchilat. Before it has been refined and broken down, and the the gishmak extracted, the kodesh the mayach, which the mind appreciates. This, the, the taste is there, but completely concealed and not savored. It's there in the physical food, which goes directly into the stomach, and there's no engagement of the seichel and of the gish, uh, and of, and of, of the gishmak of the uh, of the idea which is manifest in the head, in the palate, experienced in the palate. But the brain has to be nourished from the food. He's saying a thing over here. He's saying the bagashmius, the brain, we need a source for this. It's quite a fantastic idea. The bagashmius, the brain is nourished from the, the time of the Michael, whatever that means physically. As he said before, Belishi Vurut Hila Tam Shabai Likon is Lemoyach. The person eats, you're saying Begashmis and the Gishmak, the Tainug, that's what nourishes the brain. 
But this is missing for the fetus in the, the in the direct way, because the food goes straight into the stomach. Now continuing, it's only later, after it's been digested, not the other way around, where it's first broken down. The tannic precedes the digestion. Either the digestion is first, and then this property, this nutrient, which is manifest in, in taste. It's quite a fascinating idea. So, that's when the taste of the food for the fetus then ascends to the brain. Where is it? Between his knees. And the brain grows then from the taste of the food that the child gets from the food that the mother eats. So in a latent way, and not an experienced way, so the brain is somewhat strengthened by the tam of the food that the child eats. It's quite a very good thing. So, I mean, the, the taste of the food is, is what's the gush of us, and it's what we're all after and get excited about. The bemis thing, you know, the taste of the food is what nourishes the highest. It's really rooted and nourishes seichel. Particularly the tainag of seichel. In Hebrew, when something has a reason, it's called a tam, it's called a taste. If it doesn't have a reason, it's dry and tasteless. Kabbalah soil is tasteless, but seichel is full of taste and nuance. So the taste of the food, mamish nourishes the that the the seichel, which is all about time, about reasons, understanding. If you understand something, you can enjoy it. If you understand it, it's it's a it's a load, it's a yoke. To understand why you're doing it and what it's affecting, it's it's a whole different uh, avoid. But that's not the avoid of Golas so much. So let's continue. <coughs> but again, like we said, maybe you'll say it at the end. Before Mashiach comes, Achsidus is revealed to give us this time of Gishmat. Let's continue the Oys. Yeah, please with me. Yeah. Okay, let's continue. So where are we up to? What's the number? The closest number? Line ending by the... Okay, we said just a few lines about the number 24. Aval, ah, oh, uh-huh. So a person eats only... Go, go up a couple pleasure. of lines. Go what? up a couple of lines. What? The... So that's the Mitzvah. Okay. That. The Mitzvah is that the taste of food is what nourishes the brain. What does this mean in Avoida? Not just a fact of life, but what is this teaching us in how to serve the Abishta? What is the way the body works teaching us about Avoida? Answer. Everything is an instruction in Baruchnis. And the person eats for the sake of heaven. So then he elevates. He elevates the Kreyach Haseichel within himself, which is manifested. It falls and manifests in the taste of food. So if eating the Shem Shemayim, what's the result? So this intensifies his ability to grasp godliness. But if a person eats, this is an avoid, therefore. If he eats the oven only for the physical pleasure, for the sensual pleasure, the mal is crazy about to fill his stomach. As in him, Shech, Sashpa, Sam Michael, Rakla, crazy, Bnei Meir, Bilvad. So he's not getting, there's no Ruchnizdik again here. 
There's no spiritual gain. The food descends into his stomach and to his intestines, and not to his the, the elevated parts of who he is. That's how it is in Avaida. In Avaida, eating can refine us and elevate us or can make us more magushim. And it depends how we eat. As I pointed out many times, for us to eat the Shem Shemayim means to be complimentary and appreciative of the one who made the food and to try to be a little bit not so fussy. So this is food, which is which is symbolic of general avayda. The whole thing of all avayda is bread. I mean, is what are you working for? It's with bread on the table. The whole thing of avayda is to nourish. says, and calls Eden Rayosi, my friend, Panasosi, my sustainer, my nourisher. So what does it mean, Rayosi? The Zoya says, Hashem Shem Fanasim Labim Shabashemaim. We nourish, as it were, our Father in heaven. He wants us to fill and nourish the world with his presence. And that's what we do through our Veda. And therefore, we're nourishing him. Deeper, we're causing him tainuk. Shepanosing in amayche. I'm a mozen. Panos is bread. The koi al tere mitzvahs. And that's a reference to tere mitzvahs. Meshakosav lochu lachmu balachmi. Go and find nourishment from my bread. So in Zman Agolos, we don't have the Avedis Saseicho. So the main Avedis Pel Ma'amish Nehi, the Dugma Savlad, the main image of the Kabbalah Shpo, so I'm not going to be like the child, the fetus gets directly into the stomach. Shnich Nesrat, the Bnei Meyav. It only goes, so there's no elevating the Seicho and it's not an avoda that overtly, overtly leads to, and the whole avoda being the tainug and understanding of alikus, but still, it does happen in some way. So days in nasa ktsatschet, you said before, there is some strengthening of the meichin v'amidus behela. It strengthens the meichin and the midus in a concealed way. It's not like we don't have a mind and a heart. But again, the mind and heart, as it is, however, but we're clear so far, big however now. Yeah, basically. A little bit further, yes. We shouldn't think, okay. So it's a very compromised Avaid. He says, no. The Avaid in Zmanagolis is a great refinement, a great elevation happens. Introduce you now another factor in Golis. For Indian, Dam, Nekar, Venase, Cholo. So the blood spoils and becomes milk. This is Nikimara Nida. According to one of the Tanoim, I mean, may I think that that as long as a woman is nursing, so there's no damnida. Because the damnida is actually the, the milk that she's producing is really the, the that blood that is spoiled and becomes milk. That a hug of this. Uh, I don't know who says this, I don't remember, but one of the in explain, explaining the Isra of Basa Bakhalov. What's the problem? The milk comes from blood, we just read now. The milk comes from the blood. So when you cook the milk with meat, which is where the where the blood resides. It reverts back to some degree to blood. So the Isra Basabakhalov is really blood. 
And we understand that you said a blood because that's the carrier of life. You hear? It's one of the Kabbalah. Kabbalah, one of the reasons for Basa Bacholov. You said a Basa Bacholov. Okay, this base Hashem, we will continue tomorrow. Stay tuned for the Maila, this whole union of the blood becoming milk. This Thank happened you. in Managolus. Okay, you'd have a wonderful day.